Let us open our Bible to the book of Jeremiah 41. Jeremiah 41. Murders. Murders. Jeremiah 41 verses 1 to 10. Ishmael murders Gedaliah, the Jews and the Chaldeans. Verses 1 to 3. Three months after Jerusalem's capture and Gedaliah's appointment as a leader of the Jewish community, Ishmael brings ten men to Mizpah and kills Gedaliah and all the people who are with him. Ishmael kills Gedaliah during a hospitality meal while eating bread together. The inclusion of this fact in the text reveals what a cowardly and unjust act Ishmael committed. But it only gets worse. Verses 4 to 10. On the day after the murders of Gedaliah and the Jews who had been with him, 80 men from Sheshem in Samaria come to visit Gedaliah and to worship. Ishmael greets them, acting as if he is mourning Gedaliah's death. He lures the men into this city where he kills them and dumps their bodies into a pit or cistern. Then are speared ten, ten of them are speared because they bribe uh, Ishmael for the evidence that Ishmael is nothing but a self-motivated killer. The pit is described as being a particular one made by King Asa in 2 Kings 15 verse 22 and 2 Chronicles 16 verse 6. Continuing his atrocities, Ishmael captures all the Jews who are under Gedaliah's protection with the intention of carrying them across the river Jordan into the area known today as Jordan. Ishmael plans to take them to the Ammonites, a reference to the ancient residence of the modern day. Ammon, city of Ammon, the city of Ammon in Jordan. Those who have the worshippers of Yahweh, those who hate, hate the worshippers of Yahweh, often put on the appearance of piety that they may the easier hurt them. As death ops often meets people where they least expect it, we should continually search whether we are in such a state and frame of mind as we would wish to be found in when called to appear before our judge. Sometimes the ransom of a man's life is his riches, but those who think to bribe death, saying, stay Slay us not, for we have treasures in the field. Will find themselves wretchedly deceived. The melancholy history warns us never to be secure in this world. We never can be sure of peace in this side of heaven. We also need to listen to warnings. For Johanan had warned Gedaliah that Ishmael planned to kill him, but Gedaliah rejected the warning twice. Jeremiah 41 verses 11 to 18. Johanan recovers the captives and purposes to retire to Egypt. Verses 11 to 15. To the rescue of the Jews, however, is Johanan, the leader of what is left 
of a small Jewish army allowed to protect the city from further assault. And one of the men who had tried to warn Gedaliah of Ishmael's threat. He puts together a group and rescues the kidnapped. The people are glad when they see Joan and come in, further indicating his status as a good community member. After he rescues the Jews from Ishmael, Joanan goes after him and Ishmael flees to the Ammonites. The success of villainy must be short and no one can prosper who hardened their, their hearts against Yahweh and those who excuse themselves in sin by pretended fears justly lose comfort in real fears. The removal of a prudent and peaceable ruler and the succession of another who is rash and ambitious affects the welfare of many. Only those who fear Yahweh and walk in his ways are happy and steady. Know this and the Lord Yahweh will bless you. Let us take these prayer points. Let us pray. Jeremiah 41. I will always conduct myself in holiness and devotion, waiting for and hastening the coming of the day when I am called to appear before our judge. In the name of Yeshua, I will always conduct myself in holiness and devotion, waiting for and hastening the coming of the day when I am called to appear before our judge. In the name of Yeshua, I will always conduct myself in holiness and devotion, waiting for and hastening the day, the coming of the day when I am called to appear before our judge. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. For death often meets people where they least expect it, in the name of Yeshua, for death often meets people where they least expect it. In the name of Yeshua, for death often meets people where they least expect it. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Woe to anyone who sheds innocent blood, for his or her blood will be shed and his or her life wasted forever. In the name of Yeshua, whoever, woe, woe to anyone who sheds innocent blood. For his or her blood will be shed and his or her life wasted forever. In the name of Yeshua, woe to anyone who sheds innocent blood. For his or her blood will be shed and his or her life wasted forever. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I will not take peace for granted, for by the grace of Yahweh only I have peace. In the name of Yeshua, I will not take peace for granted, for by the grace of Yahweh only I have peace. In the name of Yeshua, I will not take peace for granted, for by the grace of Yahweh only I have peace. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Father Yahweh, don't allow me to be tossed around in the hands of one enemy after another. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, don't allow me to be tossed around in the hands of one enemy after another. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, don't allow me to be tossed around in the hands of one enemy after another. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Any cycles of torments, any cycles of torments and fears, Father Yahweh, break them and reestablish peace in my life. In the name of Yeshua, any cycles of torments and fears, Father Yahweh, break them and reestablish peace in my life. 
in the name of Yeshua, any cycles of torments and fears. Father, you will break them and reestablish peace in my life. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Lord, you will discontinue any cycles of terror and captivity in my life. In the name of Yeshua, Lord, you will discontinue any cycles of terror and captivity in my life. In the name of Yeshua, Lord, you will discontinue any cycles of terror and captivity in my life. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Father, you will put an end to my torments and fears and let my enemies be put to shame. In the name of Yeshua, Father, you will put an end to my torments and fears and let my enemies be put to shame. In the name of Yeshua, Father, you will put an end to my torments and fears and let my enemies be put to shame. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Thank you, Father Yahweh, for your word of wisdom, your word of guidance, your word of enlightening, your word of spiritual strengthening, spiritual growth, spiritual elevation. Thank you, Father Yahweh, that you heard our confession, you heard our prayers of repentance, and after you heard, you took away our dirty garment of sin and iniquity. Then you dressed it with a brand new garment, a garment cleaner than snow even the garment of your own spirit. Thank you, Father Yahweh, that you heard our cries, our supplication, our requests, our prayers. Thank you, Father, Father Yahweh, for your endless love to us. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy, for your grace. Thank you, uh, thank you, Yahweh, for your forgiveness. Thank you, uh, Father, for your faithfulness. Father Yahweh, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Lord Almighty, each and every one of this worship, please we come before your throne of grace and we stand in faith before before your your throne to renew and we stand, we stand in faith to renew our, our commitment before you that for the rest of our life we will always stick with you, we will always stand and walk by your word, we will always be fed and live by your word, we will always stay in togetherness in unity in your word. One heart, one soul, so one, one heart, one soul, and therefore from your church. Father, Lord, we will always use your word, your word which is power, might, spirit, light, breath of life, living water, to heal the sick, to cleanse people from leprosy, to resurrect the death, to cast out impure spirits, chest out demons, to set the captives free, and therefore serve you in your vineyard. Father, Lord, we will always use your word, we will always Follow your word, your word that you sent in the world in flesh to take away our burden of sin, to cancel the written code, to be our light, our truth, our way to salvation. Thank you, Father Yahweh, uh, for the name of Yeshua, for at the mention of the name of Yeshua, we have uh, the power to trample upon the serpents and scorpions of this world, of the kingdom of darkness and of all even. For at the mention of the name of Yeshua, every knee bows before us of things on earth, things under the earth, and things in heaven. And every tongue confesses that Yeshua is the Lord to the glory of God the Father. For at the mention of the name of Yeshua, we have the keys of heaven. And everything we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Everything we lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Thank you, Father Yahweh. For today that everything we bound on earth during these prayers, you bind them in heaven. Everything we lose on earth, you lose them in heaven. Thank you, Father Yahweh. We love you. We love you more than everything. We will never stop praising you. We will always say hallelujah unto you. For we praise your holy name. We magnify your holy name. We glorify your holy name. We revere you. We worship you. We adore you. Face to the ground, face to the dust, in total humility, in total obedience, we bow down before you. 
and we surrender all our burdens unto you, all our fears, worries, anxieties, tests and trials, difficult situations, hopeless situations, wilderness situations, we surrender unto you. Heaven, our joy, our celebration, our victories, we surrender unto you. Every department of our life, our way, we surrender unto you. For when our life is in your hand, our life is taken good care of, our life is protected, our life is decorated. Our love is not a mess anymore. Our love has a purpose and a direction, the direction to salvation. Thank you, Father Yahweh. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you all the praise. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Let us pray these closing prayers. Let us pray the prayer. Our good Lord, Yeshua, the Messiah, left us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. That will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And leave us not into temptation, but deliver us of evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. Thank you, Lord, all to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Lord, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Lord, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Father Yahweh, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Lord, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Father, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Lord, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Yahweh, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Thank you, Lord, all to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Now with the waving of our hands to our loving Father Yahweh, let us shout seven cheerful hallelujah, seven victorious hallelujah, seven thanksgiving hallelujah to our good Father Yahweh. Hallelujah. 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 May Father Yahweh bless each and every one of these wishes, please. May Father Yahweh bless you as you go out. May He bless you as you come in. May Father Yahweh bless you that everywhere you go, you will always meet with open doors of good opportunities. May Father Yahweh bless you. May He bless your possessions. May He bless your hands. May He bless your house. May Father Yahweh bless your efforts. May He bless your endeavors. May He bless your labors and turn them into success. May Father Yahweh bless you that the enemies may come against you in one direction, but they, flew, they will flee before your face in seven. May Father Yahweh bless you that everywhere you go, all, all, evil, all evil gatherings, evil walls, evil mountains that are standing against you shall crumble, shall fall down, shall become flat shall burn like rocks before fire, but shall turn instead into a highway into a stairway for your advancement, for your elevation, for your, for your exaltation. May Father Yahweh make it permanent his answers to your prayers. May Father Yahweh lay his right hand upon you. May he dress you in his cloud of glory. May he surround you with his edge of fire. May Father Yahweh settle you on your promised land with good health, happiness, prosperity, success, and eternal life. Go in peace. May the peace of our Lord Yahshua the Messiah be with you all. 